Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time for the weekly ranking show where we go through the ATP and WTA rankings of the week and the race to the ATP WTA finals. It's a big week. We've had a lot of things happen over the last couple of weeks. Of course, the Miami Open has just finished, and Ash Barty retired since the last time we did one of these shows, so we've got a lot to talk about. Let's start with the players that won last week at the Miami Open. So having a look at the past results from last week, we've got Igor Fiontek winning another WTA 1000 event. She beat Osaka 6-4-6 love in that final. And Carlos Alcaraz, he wins his first ATP 1000 event, beating Casper Ruud in the final 7-5-6-4. And both players got a boost in the rankings, as we'll see in a minute. Let's start with the WTA rankings this week. And due to Ash Barty retiring, a lot of players got a boost in the rankings. Igor Fiontek, she is officially the world number one, taking Barty's spot. And she's well and truly world number one, if you can see there by the points. Krijakova also goes up two spots, up to number two. Badosa goes up to number three, which is a career high for her. That's three spots higher than last week. Zachary, she goes down one spot after failing to defend the points that she won last year in Miami. Zabalenka, she stays at number five. Contivate goes up one spot to number six. Pliskova goes up a spot to number seven. Danielle Collins, she goes up three spots to number eight, making her top 10 debut. Muguruth is at nine and Jabor rounds out the top 10. Having a look at the race of the WTA Finals, we've got Sviantec well and truly on top at number one. Zachary, she goes up one spot due to Barty dropping out. She's up at number two. Collins goes up to number three, three spots higher than last week. Pedrosa also goes up three spots higher than last week, up to number four. Contabate drops down to number five. Madison Keys also drops down one spot to number six. Ostapenko, she goes up to number seven. Halep up to number eight. And Jessica Bagula having a really good week in Miami. She's gone up six spots into number nine. And Kudamatova rounds out the top 10. So let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last week. And Pagula, she's at a career high number 13 in the world. Eight spots higher than last week after making the semi-finals of Miami. And Naomi Osaka, she's gone up 41 spots higher than last week. Up to 36 in the world after making the final of Miami. And finally starting to get up to where she deserves to be in the rankings. Players that have dropped down in the rankings this week. Svetlina, she's gone down seven spots to number 27 in the world. And has also mentioned that she's going to take some time off over the next couple of months. So we'll see if she comes back stronger after the break. And Bianca Andreescu, she's dropped down 75 spots to outside the top 100, 119 in the world, after failing to defend the points that she made from the Miami final last year. So she's dropped down the rankings a lot. Heading over to the ATP rankings now, and you've got Novak Djokovic. Stays at number one with Medvedev very close behind at number two. But of course, Medvedev, he's not going to be playing for a few weeks now because of that hernia that he got over in Miami. We've got a bit of a change in the middle here with Zverev going back up to number three, pushing Nadal down to number four. City Pass stays at five. Berrettini stays at six. And Kasper Ruud, after making the final of Miami, he goes up to number seven, pushing Rublev down to number eight. Aliasim at nine. And Cam Norrie, he is into the top 10 for the first time in his career. Two spots higher than last week, pushing out Hubi Hercatch, who dropped out of the top 10 after failing to make up all the points that he won from Miami last year. Let's go have a look at the race of the finals and Rafa Nadal still on top, despite not playing in Miami. Well and truly number one in the race. But Carlos Alcaraz, he's gone up five spots to number two in the race of the finals, just behind Rafa there, pushing Medvedev down to number three. Fritz goes down to number four, with Stefano Tsitsipas going up one spot to number five. Oje Aliasim, he's dropped down to number six, two spots lower than last week. Rublev also dropped two spots down to number seven. And Kasper Ruud, he is number eight in the race of the finals after a great week in Miami, 14 spots higher than last week, pushing Berrettini down to number nine. And Roberto Batista-Ragu rounds out the top 10. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last week outside the top 10, Catch Menovic. He's gone up to number 38 in the world, 10 spots higher than last week after having a really good result in Miami getting to the quarterfinals. And also Serendolo, he's gone 52 spots higher than last week, up to 51 in the world, which is a career high for him after making the semifinals in Miami. So a couple of players that did very well last week getting a boost in the rankings. A couple of players gone down to the rankings. We've got Roger Federer. He's gone down 18 spots after dropping the points he won in Miami a few years ago that was still holding on. He's down to number 44 in the world. Kevin Anderson, he's dropped down 16 spots outside of the top 100 at 107 in the world. And he's having to play qualifiers of a lot of tournaments now because he's outside the top 100. So a couple of players that are very well known, a couple of the veterans on tour that have dropped down the rankings over the last week. So there you have it. They are the rankings for the week, the ATP WTA rankings for the week. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about maybe missing from the rankings? Of course, Novak Djokovic isn't anywhere near the race to the finals because he hasn't played enough. And remember, the race to the finals is only the points that are made up from the year. So Djokovic... Has to do a lot of work over the next few months on the clay and the grass to make his way up the ranks there. But 
Let me know down in the comments below, is anyone you're shocked at seeing in the top 10 or maybe shocked that isn't in the top 10?